Jeep Ram. We've checked pre-owned prices all around, and the best price on pre-owned vehicles is at Liberty. Need something big and roomy? Liberty has it. Looking for luxury? Sporty? They're at Liberty. Need a dependable, hard-working truck or a gas-saving economy car? You'll find them at Liberty. You'll find them all at Liberty at the best price anywhere. Come by today, see Chris Gorsuch, and get the best price on your next pre-owned vehicle. We're veterans serving active military and veterans, and we'll treat you right on-site or website. Liberty Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, across from Walmart in Hinesville, or at LibertyChrysler.com. Your best price dealer. We will save you money. Local news on WIFO. It's time now for a little latest in local news. And news just four days from Christmas. Many people planning their trips in AAA forecasting that in Georgia alone, more than 2 million drivers will be on the road during the Christmas holiday period, which officially begins Friday at 6 p.m., runs till midnight on Tuesday, December 26th. 78-hour Christmas schedule along with a 78-hour New Year holiday travel period and law enforcement encouraging all motorists to obey the laws. Buckle up, slow down, don't drink and drive, arrive alive is their slogan. They state they'll be in full force attempting to make this a very safe holiday for everyone on the road. If you're planning a trip, they state it allows sufficient time to make it to your destination without being rushed. Also make certain that your vehicle is in good working condition. Last year during consecutive 78-hour holiday periods, Georgia State Patrol reported 595 crashes and 289 injuries. In addition to the traffic crashes last year, state troopers issued 6,469 citations, 12,429 warnings during the Christmas holiday, issued 6,400 citations and 10,905 warnings during the New Year's holiday period. Those statistics provided by the Georgia Department of Public Safety. Jekyll Island Authority continues to upgrade the island. Last week broke ground on a 107-room home two suites hotel located close to the Jekyll Island Convention Center. Ceremonial groundbreaking was for Buckhead America 107 Room Suite 2 Hotel. This is the third hotel built within walking distance of the convention center. This is the final piece of the puzzle in what has been a $302 million investment on the island to upgrade the hotels and to build a new convention center, which reports that in the past year alone has brought in $1.2 million in net revenue for the island. New hotel is closely located near the convention center, as is the New Weston and the 41 South Ocean Club Hotel. Once again, this is the final piece of the complete project to improve the island, bring more tourism to the, air, to the area. Can the authority please to announce that the new convention center are doing just what it's expected to do, and that's bringing more conventions and more visitors to the island. Can they report a $1.2 million net profit in the year 2017? We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Smith Chevrolet Buick GMC in Jessup, the home of no hassle buying, is dealing in December. Come in now for year-end savings that'll knock your stockings off. Ho, ho, ho. It is the season of giving, and at Smith and Jessup, we're here to give you the best vehicle buying experience of your life. Here's our sales manager, Spanky Thornton. Hey, this is Spanky. Bring your Christmas list to me, and we'll get you riding in a new Chevy, Buick, or GMC. We'll save you more green than the needles on a Christmas tree. We are dealing in December, new and used. Every vehicle here at Neesmith and Jessup is on sale, and we will save you thousands. Hey, folks, this is Lee Merida from all of us at Neesmith Chevrolet and Jessup. We want to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas. Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC Highway 341 in Jessup and online at neesmithjessup.com. Neesmith, the home of no hassle buying. Chevy, find new roads. May you have a joyous holiday, and may your home be blessed with peace this holiday season. Merry Christmas from First Baptist Church, 427-4239. When further treatment is no longer an option, hospice can provide services to manage symptoms and difficulties caused by illness. Emotional, psychosocial, and spiritual care, as well as support to the families and caregivers, are all part of hospice care. Hospice of South Georgia has been a part of the health community in Wayne and surrounding counties for over 13 years. The professional yet compassionate attention provided by our staff is unsurpassed. Widely supported by donations from the local population, Hospice of South Georgia is the only nonprofit hospice in Wayne County. Our new administrative offices, located at 1625 Sunset Boulevard, have opened recently as Phase 1 of our building project. Hospice of South Georgia accepts anyone who meets hospice criteria, regardless of their ability to pay. Please call 912-588-0080 to speak to someone about hospice care. That was 912-588-0080. We are your hometown hospice, and we are here to serve you. Hospice of South Georgia, working to add life to your days. 
Tax Commissioner Deitch Griffiths reminds everybody that the county tax office will be closed on Friday at 12 noon. Anyone who has a birthday between now and December 27 needs to renew their tag before this Friday at 12 noon. So, again, keep that in mind. Tickets are now available for the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce Eggs and Issues Breakfast event taking place Friday morning, January 5th at Coastal Pines Technical College at 730 that morning. On hand will be the panel to preview the upcoming legislative session. State Senator Blake Tillery, State Representative Chad Nimmer, State Representative Bill Warkheiser. Tickets currently on sale for $25 a piece up through January 3rd. After that, tickets will be $35 for the event. It's an annual event, always an informative event, a chance to meet and talk with your state representatives before they head to Atlanta for the legislative session. Once again, the date, January 5th at 7.30. Tickets currently $25. Again, after the 3rd, they'll be $35. Speaker David Rolson, his name, State Representative Bill Workheiser, is chairman of the Haas Industry and Labor Committee. Representative Workheiser also serves as a member of the Appropriations Subcommittee on Public Safety and on Energy, Utilities, and Telecommunications, Homeland Security, and State Properties Committees. Workhouser says he's honored that Speaker Ralston appointed him to serve in this leadership position. The Haas Industry and Labor Committee plays a critical role in dealing with issues regarding labor and management relations. Workhouser says he believes that his unique experience as a business owner and operator provide him with the foundation needed to succeed as a chairman of this important committee. Again, David Ralston, David Bill Workhouser, chairman of the Haas Industry, and Labor Committee yesterday. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC in Jessup, the home of no hassle buying, is dealing in December. Come in now for year-end savings that'll knock your stockings off. Tis the season of giving, and at Neesmith and Jessup, we're here to give you the best vehicle buying experience of your life. Here's our sales manager, Spanky Thornton. Hey, this is Spanky. Bring your Christmas list to me, and we'll get you riding in a new Chevy, Buick, or GMC. We'll save you more green than the needles on a Christmas tree we are dealing in december new and used every vehicle here at neesmith and jessup is on sale and we will save you thousands hey folks this is lee merida from all of us at neesmith chevrolet and jessup we want to wish you and your family a merry christmas neesmith chevrolet buick gmc highway 341 in jessup and online at neesmithjessup.com neesmith the home of no hassle buying chevy find new roads Do you suffer from constant pain? Does your pain make life miserable at home, with family, and at work? Do you feel helpless and without hope? At Advanced Healthcare Center on South First Street in Jessup, they understand that constant pain is an awful condition that can lead to depression, disability, and utter despair. Advanced Healthcare now offers two proven effective treatments to reduce and relieve constant pain. Percutaneous electric nerve or PENS treatments and decompression traction therapy are highly effective at relieving constant pain in the spine, muscles, nerves, and other joints. Their highly trained healthcare professionals at Advanced Healthcare can fully evaluate, diagnose, and treat your constant pain syndrome and help restore your life and hope again. These new treatment options combined with proper medication management, chiropractic, physical, and massage therapy are covered by most major insurance plans. Same-day appointments and walk-ins are welcome. Call Advanced Healthcare Center in Jessup today at 427-8433. Feel better today. Here's a wish that you and yours have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Corson's Carpet and Flooring, 2550 Savannah Highway. Final notes of news. All government meetings for the year have closed here in Wayne County until the year 2018. County Commissioner City Jessup and School Board will have meetings beginning in the year 2018. Both the county and city have their meetings set for January 2nd at 7 p.m. City will have on their agenda the second reading of approving their new city charter. Only one dissenting vote at the first reading of the new charter. That was by Commissioner Ray House, adamantly opposed to the city charter being changed to allow the city council to hire and fire the city clerk and treasurer. House, I voted to the last meeting 5-1, but a second reading is needed before it becomes official. That vote again set for January the 2nd. The county approved their budget on a 4-1 vote at their last call meeting. Commissioner Ralph Hickox voting against the budget, also voting against borrowing $6.7 million in a tax anticipation note. The county will borrow the money as needed. The bank borrowing the bank that they're borrowing the money from is Prime South Bank at an interest rate of 1.6%. County Minister Ed Jeffers stated at the meeting that they will borrow the money as needed. The county's budget was approved at the meeting. The budget, $23,223,832, $6.7 million of that on a tax anticipation note. Jeffers says he cut $1.1 million from the budget. It says the tax digest and economy is down. The state owes them $1.1 million in flip of money. 
School board also doesn't meet again until after the new year, but they've started two projects at their last meeting, and they approved up to $1 million for the beginning of building a new track at the high school. Also, they approved $250,000 towards the new weight room facility at the high school, which A.D. Ken Cribb is excited about. It says it's much needed. Ken Cribb says the Touchdown Clubs agreed to help with funding for the project. He also has a lot of in-kind donations towards the building of the new weight room facility. It will be built next to the field house at the high school. Coach Cribb, our special guest today on the world-famous Butch and Bob Show. Fin- one final news note, Waymore Hospital offering a free child class birth on December 30th from 9 to 1 in the hospital cafeteria conference room. Class is ideal for those expectant mothers 25 weeks pregnant or later by the class date. Those interested in registering can do so by calling 912-530-3118. Tops of the class will include the normal process of pregnancy, labor, and delivery with an emphasis on conscious prepared childbirth. Stress is placed on a medically safe delivery in the hospital under the direction of a doctor. Additional topics cover infant care and infant feeding. Those attending are encouraged to invite a support person to the class. Once again, the class set for December 30th from 9 to 1. Again, the number to call, 530-3118. And that's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan, Senate, have a great day.